have a little play of this shit. 500 games in one. The entertainment system. Uh, not the Nintendo entertainment system, obviously, for uh, copyright reasons. As if you can have copyright on a bootleg NES Mini. But, here we go. Uh, didn't like the first game in the series. Yeah, the arcade game was good. Uh, yeah, this one. Not very happy memories of this shit. Ninja gave them shit. Push you back. Ah, fuck off, man. Fucking two minutes into the game, and you already got a fuck about with this shit. Ah, fuck off. <laughs> a bunch of bullshit, man. Ah, for fuck's sake. I uh, probably should have done a review of this bullshit. Uh, there we go. Um, yeah, not much of a boss fight, so maybe that isn't a boss fight. Who knows, mate? Who knows? one of the characters I'm forcing you to fucking play first, would you like to go first? Not which character would you like to play? I don't like his stupid nunchuck. He ain't got any fucking reach. What's the point of this shit? Ah, fuck off, man. Bullshit. Oh, he's that. Oh, you yeah. Fucking cocksucker. I'm bored already, man. And can I get in a tank and kill some people? No. Oh, you have to go this way. Anywhere else? I'm just down this bit. Can I go in this building? Oh, they have a strict uh, policy. How the fuck am I meant to get over there then? Ah, oh, you cocksucker. So, I picked the best character first, and I've got to play all these shit characters now. Fuck you.
That was a completed Amiga game from Ocean France that never got a release. But you can find it to download and try it out. So, yeah. Ninja Gay Dem. Dem Gays. That's a bit homophobic. Um, like I said, as if anyone would be that bothered about copyright. We all know this is a bootleg. Maybe there's some legal loophole. Ah, you coming to check out the recording? Mm, don't tip the camera. Claudia. I think you're in the way of the camera, buddy. There you go. I'll say something then. Don't drop the camera. They're quite expensive. Yeah. Good deal. Alright then. Right. Claudia break over. And she's called Claudia because her fur is softer than a cloud. Oh look, we've got Snow Brothers top right. Let's have a look. This is the first repeat. Okay. And let's uh, check this out. It's the same then? Yeah. Exactly the same. Same music. Same 8-bit coloured in, colouring in book. Shit. I don't like that game, so... Uh, you can check out Snow Brothers on some other channel. I'm not really uh, that bothered. So, 
don't like Double Dragon, I don't like Robocop. I don't think Adventure Island is for me. Or Chip and Dale. I don't like wrestling games. Um, right, okay, let's see what happens with this one. Now these are Tecmo sprites. I've got no idea what I'm selecting. Hopefully a game will start. Alright, so... Uh, well the background graphics ain't that bad. The NES anyway, they're, they're pretty good actually. Mm, the NES is sort of like um, a spectrum. Uh, but instead of two character blocks, uh, two colours per character block, you can actually select four for the tile for background graphics. Bitmaps as we used to call them. Uh, well, I'm just yes, my concentration's uh, wavering a bit, playing this rubbish. Are a bit, yeah. I mean, look, I don't know what they remind me of. They remind me of something. Yes, I know. Techno soccer, techno bowl, whatever it's called. I don't know. But um, yeah, this controller was new about half an hour ago. Yeah, it's like drug double dragon with uh, really weird sprites and not bad background. The music isn't that brilliant. I'll prove it. Told ya. It's like Johnny B. Good performed by a wedding singer. Uh, yeah, that's enough of that one. What was that game? That was uh, uh, Hot Blood Story. So, hello, Claudia. Hey, buddy. Uh, well, <clears throat> she's blocking the camera again. There's nothing behind the camera. The camera shouldn't smell of anything, buddy. Hey, you should say something. Come on, let them hear your voice. Hey, we don't get enough subscribers if you don't say anything. You must look into the camera, you. Well, of course I can see your cutie, but they can't, can they? Ah, uh, hot blood march. Oh, God. What the hell is this shit? Tecmo Combat School ripoff? Of course. Why aren't my geezer running? Uh, so you have to press both buttons to fucking jump. How am I supposed to know? Ah, for fuck's sake. Looks like the PlayStation fucking CD track selection menu. Now I'm trying everything. Double tap. For fuck's sake. Why can't I go over there? Next! Uh, Kick Master, is that Kung Fu Master? Yeah, 
Why are they stunning? Why is it flickery? Is this the uh, NES on the chip? Shit motherboard design? What's going on with this shit? Um, it's sort of alright. Mm, sort of halfway between an Amstrad 4 colour game and an Amstrad 16 colour game. It's got more colours than an Amstrad 4 colour game. Wait, you motherfucker. And I'm not really a fan of this ColecoVision style music, I have to say. I know a lot of arcade machines have this kind of sound chip. So Japanese people probably weren't that bothered. I'm on fire! Ooh, crystal ball, yeah, found a bouncing bulb spirit. What? What the fuck? Hmm. Must be that special kind of glass that bounces. Anyway. Golden child, you know, when he's doing that thing, I, I, I want the knife. Yeah, that one. Uh, yeah, you know what? That's not bad. I can't remember what it's called. So, I've done Ninja Turtles. Um, what's four going to be out of interest? Hmm. Tournament fighters, right. I didn't press anything, so. Right, okay, it's like a um, Street Fighter 2 ripoff uh, with tiny sprites. So, and a woman with green hair. I haven't seen for a long time. Mmm, some old 60s film. Might have been Hans Christian Andersen. Something like that. Some sort of mermaid had green hair and bright red lips. In that really weird sort of colour that old films sort of had. Right, not interested. Um, let's see what three is. Two is obviously the arcade game, which is not bad, I have to say. I don't know what this is. But this isn't actually a repeat. Yeah, not a fan of this uh, musical doorbell sort of thing. Okay, some sample playback. I'm going to stick with my man Leo, Leo with his uh, knife, pretty good uh, reach there, yeah, the graphics ain't that bad, mm. yeah I don't really want to see all of it, I'm sure if you was a little kid back in the day and you had an NES maybe you would, alright oh, this is sort of like the arcade game but with different graphics, Exactly the same move. Yeah. Oh, the colours are a bit weird. Um, I'm sure 
sure I could have done more, even with three colours. Is, uh, yeah. I mean, the enemy sprites are pretty good, I have to say. Yeah, mate, the enemy sprites. Friday afternoon, playing on your NES. Oh, there must be loads of unemployed people doing this. <laughs> Look, mate, I've had my unemployed days as well, so that's not a dig. I just used to play games all the time. I mean, there are only so many jobs you can apply for, and it only takes a minute. To actually fill in one of Fucking hell, look at the flicker on that cunt. Fucking hell, bruv. Jesus, mother fucking Christ on a H popsicle stick. Yeah, H popsicle stick. It's got two poles, so it sits in the middle, has a bit of the rest and goes on the other one. And the other one dries out a bit. I don't bloody know, mate. Maybe the shit freezes on there. Fuck. The fuck? Sprite flicker is really annoying, really annoying. On a C64 game, this would be unacceptable. So, you know, I'm gonna have to say the sprites ain't really better than the C64. And they end up having to use slightly smaller ones. I don't think you can expand the sprites on the NES. I don't know, I don't really like the way they've designed the graphics. I suppose you've only got three colours. Uh, actually, I think you can only have four combinations of three colours plus transparent. So I think you've only got four possible palettes. That is just a different way of getting all 16 colours. Actually, on the C64, you can't get 16 colours on the screen when you use right. You can have 8 colours. You can have 8 plus uh, 2. Because uh, Global Multicolour 1 and Multicolour 2. Um, so you can have 10. Oh, that's interesting. Now, on the NES, you can have 4 times 2, which is 12. 12 colours. Of course, colour zero always being transparent. Mm. Mm, no, I don't know, this is sort of like the vanilla milkshake of games. I mean, you wouldn't mind a vanilla milkshake from McDonald's or wherever Burger King. Oh, actually, I don't know if I should have Burger King. See, they do something called a Whopper Junior. Which is basically uh, a 149 double cheeseburger uh, with the cheese removed, uh, a slice of tomato, a bit of onion, and the mustard uh, replaced with um, mayonnaise, I believe. Same burger, so same size, two small burgers, two bird's eye. Regular burger size kind of thing. Oh no, nah, I wouldn't eat them fucking bird's eye burgers, mate. I've made my own burgers, I know what burgers should taste like, and it's pretty much like Wendy's, which is impossible to find in the UK. Oh, let me know in the comments if Wendy's is actually rare in uh, America or not. Uh, burger King is, yeah. Not quite as um, easy to find as McDonald's, but Burger King is my minimum. So, and actually, there's a funny taste to Wimpy Burgers. They kind of taste meaty, but not in the way you want them to taste meaty. Mm. Imagine kebab flavour crisp, I believe. Walkers did them at one point. 
They were horrible. They were like mutton flavour. So yeah, I love a Wendy's burger. Uh, Wendy's burgers are pretty much what burgers I make taste like. Uh, I don't put a fucking egg in the burger. As soon as you see someone put an egg in the burger, in the mints I should say, uh, to bind it and some of them even put fucking flour in the burger. No mate, you get the right meat, you get your butcher to mince it for you. I'm, I'm getting fucking killed here man. Fucking concentrate mate. Yeah, basically, you make your own burgers. Chopped onions, very small pieces. That is optional. Uh, and then, um, that's about it actually. Just, uh, yeah, mince, good quality mince, which is made from steak or whatever, steak of any quality actually, rump steak is fine. It's actually not bad. Mmm. Yeah. I mean, we've got a hell of a lot of spice with her again. I don't know what it is with the uh, NES programmers and... Yeah, so... Um, yeah, you know when you see games like Renegade 3 or Target Renegade on your C64 and then people moan, well, they do look like NES sprites, but there's only four of them on your screen. Well, for a start, they're 21 pixels high, so that's actually eight sprites for the NES, not four. So four C64 sprites are actually like one and a half times the height and one and a half times the width of NES sprites. Um, and basically, they don't take the piss with a fucking sprite clicker. Nice bit of colour cycling sort of effect on the back. You could probably do this on the ST really easily. Actually, yeah. Someone should do this on the ST. You could probably write it in stocks. Let's see. I wonder if there's uh, an STE version of stocks. What the hell? It's like a shit version of the tunnel sequences in Stardust. Uh, yeah. What am I supposed to fucking... Ah, oh, right. I'm supposed to hit the fuckers. Yeah, so as I was saying, uh, making your own work is really easy. Uh, what you want to do is uh, buy some meat from your butcher. It doesn't have to be steak. You know, whatever. Um, but, yeah, beef. And... Uh, you want a bit of fat on it, actually. Gotta have like 20 25 percent fat on it. Burgers are fatty for a reason, you know. You're gonna say to me, Oh, I made them healthier, I'm using 15 percent steak mince. Yeah, well, whatever, mate. Because if you put a fucking egg in there, fucking egg yolk has got more saturated fat than any cut. So, yeah, fuck you, mate. And put a half healthy sort of oil like olive oil in your burgers if you want 50 50 whatever mate so anyway you've got your mince your optional onions and let's pick another game for us so you've got your mince and your optional onions uh what else you got yeah, I don't fancy Double Dragon, but if it really is Double Dragon free, I can't remember what it's called. It's not called Double Dragon free. Uh, That's the episode for the Stone Dragon. Product placement, Dr. Pepper. Yeah, anyway, I hope they haven't fucked up the, uh, <laughs> the fucking. Focus in there. Fuck me. I hope it's not 
being recorded in front of the screen. That would be funny, wouldn't it? Anyway, looks all right. So yeah, you've got your finely diced onion. Very, the, the finer you can make them, the better make them. And probably pour a bit of boiling water over them in a sieve just to get that raw onion flavour out of them. And your beef that you bought in your butchers or anywhere else, supermarkets maybe. But you have to mince it. Don't buy ready made mince. It's fucking horrible. I spent half an hour pulling out bits from the mince. Bits from the mince. Mince beef, whatever. Yeah, so you've got that. So your fatty piece of beef. Uh, and then, actually, if you're going to make pork burgers, you probably want to go with a bit of belly pork. Uh, trim half the fat off the belly pork. Uh, and mince that. So that would work. Um, salt and pepper, mate. Salt and pepper. And that's it. You've got to be generous with the salt, though. The salt reacts with the fat uh, and actually will make it stick. So then you sort of want to mash it up in your hands in a bowl as if you're making some sort of um, dough. Uh, maybe like dumpling mix, you know, when you make the dumpling, that kind of thing. And basically, then mix your onions in uh, once you've mixed the mince with the salt and it should sort of go sort of like a um, meatball kind of texture you know when you, you, know, you probably don't know but uh, yeah the old kofta kebab so you should start to look a bit like that of course kofta probably whoever invented the uh, kofta and I suspect it was either the Turks or the Turkish Mongols they invented burgers mate, they also invented pizza, they just didn't put cheese on their pizza. No, but yeah, it's called Lama Chum, yeah, that's the uh, English pronunciation, so there you go mate, let's play this shit. Man, why is he called Billy, I wanted him to be called Bimmy, my cat's called Bimmy. Actually, my cat's right here next to me this whole time. Hmm. Where are the other seven cats, eh? So, uh, what? What's going on here, mate? Am I supposed to kill him? So, graphics, background. Looks like fucking Trivial Pursuit on the Atari ST. And uh, Sprite's alright, actually. Um, I don't remember this business. Why can't I get out of the... Why am I in the street like the arcade version? Is this a remix business? The NES had a lot of remixes which I didn't like. Gyrus being the biggest one. Bloody hell. Game over. Get out. Yep, so there you go. Burgers is mince. Uh, like I said, which you've made yourself from actual meat that you bought. Uh, your butcher can mince it for you. Fucking hell, man. Just fuck off here. Oof. Brett listen, I tried to stop them, but they were too powerful for me. They're great fighters, but the one you must fear the most is... Ah. I'm guessing his name is not Keith or Kenneth. Actually, Kenneth was one of the names that Robert Picardo, who played the... Uh, 
the holographic doctor on Star Trek Voyager, Chuck. I just saw that episode today. It's the one when he created his uh, 60s or 70s era family. Alright, fuck this game. You know how to make the burgers. I just told you. Be generous with the salt. Real mint stuff. Real beef that you've got minced or minced yourself. Mix it up. Option one, you know. Bash it on the barbecue and you're good to go, mate. There, there isn't better burgers than that. I'm sorry. And if anything, if you was to buy a sirloin steak, it wouldn't work. It's just too dry. Not even ribeye steak. That's not enough fat on there. Right. Hot blood body ball. Ah, look, there's more of these. These are all tech ones. So, I wonder if Tecmo is uh, Japanese for hot blood, hot blooded, who knows mate, banana print, well no, banana man, and that shit, this is, uh, the car, well, I'm sure that was German in the bottom. Well, oh, these are like the smallest strikes I've ever seen. <laughs> it's like an 8 bit version of Brian the Lion, <laughs> which is a shit game. <laughs> In fact, the graphics are shit. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Yeah. Mm. I don't know what this game was. Oh, Banana Prince. Actually, looks like a girl. The girls in it, man. That's what the fuck. Code, code, worst, mate. Worst fucking coding ever. Yeah. Uh, final mission is uh, a shoot 'em up. I can't remember. It's similar to another game. Not sidearms. Forgotten Worlds, I think. Uh, when I say similar, I mean to what I played on the Amiga. Uh, we've got some Robocock there, Double Dildo Dragon. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with Double Dragon 3. Horrible, horrible. You don't, on the ST, which was only £268, main order in 1988. Yeah, they did go down to 299 twice and once was I think around the time the A500 was released which is summer 1987 ish yeah so uh, we've done the hot tub thing Street Fighter yeah that's not the you know that's got to be Street Fighter 2010 which is already nine years old so I don't have to play it Seen Mortal Kombat 4 and Street Fighter on this thing. No brothers again. Mm. There's a hell of a lot of platform games on this thing. Oh look, Bubble Bobble 2, isn't this like really expensive? Yeah. I think this well it really is Bubble Bobble 2 then. So I know what Bubble Bobble 1 is like. Ah, bubble bubble. Mm -hmm. I had bubble bubble on the C64. That was like a Christmas game that I had. Mm -hmm. This is probably the most shit way to play it, but uh, clear, clear. That's what Morgan used to say after killing it. Right? Clear. Well, actually, he was killing the, uh, the zombies, I think. I don't think he was killing people. But like he was saying everyone gets to return or something. How did you fucking get up there then? Oh, man. How am I supposed to get up there? Have I broken the game already? Oh shit, you go down the bottom. Oh, what an asshole. 
<laughs> it's been a long time since I've played this game. A very long time. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of these graphics, I must admit. The sprites are alright. Bubble bubbles on here. If I could be bothered, I'd edit in uh, Lenny James saying clear up from uh, season whatever of uh, not a bubbling game. Touch those. Why are they fit? They're filled with green snot. I know it's hard to see on this telly, but there you go. I'm bored now. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. Oh, for fuck's sake. You know what? They all moan about one fire button on the C64. And obviously, they're going to say, mm -hmm. "There's no jump button on your C64." Well, guess what, mate? On the C64, if you had a decent joystick, pressing up on the joystick was easier than pressing the shit fire buttons on these fucking joy pads. Fuck off! Oh, fuck it, I bought it. Fuck shit! All right, that's it. But you've saved yourself like 500 quid buying this thing. And I only spent um, it was about 16 or 17 pounds, including postage. And it was from a UK seller on eBay. So you don't get buggered in the old uh, digital financial department. You know, fraud. Um, mighty Final Fight. Is that the final fight? Let's have a look. The story start. Okay. We've obviously taken the logo. This is Metro Resort. Hmm, this could be final fight. Metro City sounds. So hang on. They've also taken out the uh, the graphics, have they? Because even the C64 has the graphics to go in this story. Right, I can't skip this shit, sorry. Is this a real game? Is this actually released as a £50 cartridge? Hagar looks like one of the characters on War of the Worlds Goliath, which is a great anime War of the Worlds film. You should check it out. Really brilliant. Isn't it? The title tune is actually really nice. Oh, really nice. What the fuck? Nah, more fucking square cardboard box cutout sprites. Nah, the background's all white. Ah, I don't know, man. I'm not a fan of purple carriage doors myself. Feel free to have whatever colour you want, obviously, yourself, but it seems a lot of purple game. Yeah. Even some purple walls here. Oh, man. I really don't like these kind of games, and um, it's pathetic. Fuck off. I'd rather play Street Hassle on the C64 or Bop and wrestle or whatever it's called the one with a massive sprite actually that game no i don't know about that game because i can't work out how they get all them sprites up there i know they're blocky and they're obviously expanded sprites but i've tried working it all now and even with expanded sprites it's actually difficult 
Oh, hang on, this is the first Mario. Mario 10. Kung Fu Mary. Mary. Kung Fu Mary. Mm. What the fuck? <laughs> this reminds me of Frack on the C64 with ridiculously large characters. Didn't have a useless intro like this. Anyway, that sort of looks like Mario. I don't know what rubbish game they're fucking. Yeah, Revenge of the Frog. Frog in a tank that killed us when we were the turtles. I believe that was, uh, was that turtles four or three. I can't remember. Mm. Nothing like a Mario game actually. Hmm. I don't know what this is. This is obviously one of the uh, Mario homebrew hack kind of things, maybe. Or is this one or some, you know, Far Eastern company has designed specifically for their bootlegs, NES on the chip system. Ooh, Mario meets ER Kung Fu. Clouds are pulsating like the blood vessels in Salamander. Not quite as nice. Actually, I've had a look on here and I can't find Salamander, which really annoys me. That's probably the best shoot em up on the uh, NES. However, I think on the NES, what am I supposed to be doing? There's something like oh, fucking stupid bonus round pistol. Curtains there are quite Italian actually, it's not bad. Ooh, no. Yeah, so as I was saying, um, on Bubble Bobble, on the C64, you push it up to jump up, and that's perfectly natural, so don't give me any of that. Ooh, you've only got one fire button bullshit. You press fire to blow the bubbles. When you want to jump up, you push the arcade quality zipstick competition pro, whatever. Man, I don't want to hit this tiger. Oh, fuck it, yeah. Kill, kill Mario. Good. Fuck him. I'd rather there are more fucking tigers in the world than Mario's. Fuck you, mate. Yes, anyway, um. Yeah, you didn't know Airwolf was on this system, did you? Let's listen to the ColecoVision quality uh, sound. Why well, I go and grab something to Obviously they don't have much of a tune on that bit. Ah, here we go, the world famous uh, Airwolf tune. Da 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 Fuck off. Reminds me of Apocalypse on the Amiga. That's a really good choplifter uh, type game. Yeah, it's a bit jerky. 
but uh, yeah, someone should hack Apocalypse on the Amiga and replace it with the Airwolf Sprite. This is one of them uh, modern gunship, American gunship type things, I think. There we go, some decent music. Well, more decent. Da 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 da